Sometimes it's tough to believe the stories we hear, right? But what if even the things captured in photos are so baffling that they leave scientists wondering? Let's take a closer look at these mysterious pictures that have confused both experts and everyday people. I think they're going to surprise you. 10. The Dyatlov Pass Incident In 1959, Igor Dyatlov and eight of his friends, all excited young folks, decided to climb Mount Orterton in the Ural Mountains. It began as a thrilling adventure, but ended up as a puzzling story still discussed today. The team made up of seven men and two women, mostly pals from university, embarked on a journey through the snowy wilderness. However, their trip took a mysterious turn, and it was more than three months before anyone found them, no longer alive, far from their planned path, and not dressed for the harsh winter. The discovery site was quite strange. Their bodies were found without their ski gear, footwear, or warm clothing. The authorities noticed unusual injuries on them and quickly concluded the case, attributing it to a powerful natural force. Among the group, three had severe injuries, and the rest seemed to have succumbed to the cold. They were found in peculiar places, suggesting they were trying to find warmth or possibly share clothing in a desperate bid to survive. Their last diary notes were surprisingly cheerful, mentioning building snowmen, which was a stark contrast to their tragic end. Odd clues, like their tent being cut from inside and signs of a hasty exit, made the situation more baffling. Despite the severe nature of their injuries, there was no evidence of other people being involved. Some of their garments showed strange radiation levels. This, combined with the unusual aspects of their demise, led to various theories over the years, including speculations about military activities, unidentified flying objects, or hazardous weather conditions, partly because of witnessed unusual lights and changes in the skin color of the skies. Years have passed, and the mystery of their fate continues to intrigue. The Dyatlov Foundation, established by someone who went to their funerals, is still trying to uncover what really happened, maintaining a museum in Ekaterinburg to remember this baffling event. Thus, the story of the Dyatlov Pass incident remains an unsolved case, its secrets locked away in the snow-covered Ural Mountains. 9. The Mysterious Creature of Raystown Lake Right in Huntington County, Pennsylvania, Raystown Lake hides a tale as mysterious as its deep waters. This is where the legend of Racedown Ray, a creature wrapped in local stories, captures the imagination of both locals and visitors. Since the 1960s, and more so after the lake reached a depth of 185 feet in 1971, the legend of Racedown Ray has flourished, with rumors of sightings feeding the mystery. In 2006, the legend took an exciting turn when a fisherman caught not just fish, but also attention with a photo of a huge, shadowy figure under the lake's surface. This photo sparked a lot of talks, reigniting the long-standing mystery and drawing global interest to the lake's hidden depths. People who've seen Racedown Ray describe it as a giant water creature, about 50 to 60 feet long, often seen stirring the lake's surface. These stories turn Racedown Lake into a place full of mystery, with every splash and wave hinting at this legendary creature. The creature's mystery deepened in 2010 with the Siffy Channel's show Fact or Faked Paranormal Files, exploring the lake with a night dive, sonar studies, and photo analysis, giving fresh energy to the old tales. A campus story from the early 2000s of meeting a huge water creature adds more intrigue to the legend. Wildlife biologist Jeff Krause suggested in 2006 that Raystown Ray, if real, might be feeding on the lake's weed beds, imagining it as a giant herbivore that's calm and unseen. This idea, along with no signs of it being a predator, paints Raystown Ray in a rather peaceful light. In 2010, Fact or faked paranormal files tried to uncover more, using sonar and photo studies and even tempting the creature with food, but they found no solid proof, just fueling the legend even more. Though actual evidence of Racedown Ray is as tricky to find as the creature itself, the ongoing stories and investigations keep the legend very much alive. Racedown Lake is not just a body of water, but a place steeped in mystery, with Racedown Ray at the heart of its local lore. 
Whether it's a real hidden creature, a play of light and shadow, or a mythical being, Race Down Ray remains an intriguing mystery in the lake's history. 8. The Solway Spaceman in May 1964, Jim Templeton, a firefighter from Carlisle, took a photo on Berg Marsh that really got people talking. It wasn't just a regular family picture, it showed his daughter Elizabeth with a weird figure in the background that looked like it was from another world, all dressed in white, like a spaceman. Templeton said it was just him, his wife, and a couple of others there with no mystery visitor in sight. But there it was in the photo sparking a whole lot of guessing and whispering about UFOs and other strange possibilities. Was it an alien, a ghost, or something totally different? The story got even weirder with international interest and a mysterious visit from the so-called Men in Black. And there was a curious twist with a cancelled missile launch in Australia, where folks also reported seeing something like the Spaceman adding to the rumours because of the location's connection to military stuff. Dr. David Clark, an expert on UFOs, looked into it and thought maybe the spaceman was just an accidental picture of Templeton's wife, caught on camera in a way that looked strange. This idea made the spaceman seem less like a cosmic visitor and more like a mix-up. The Solway Spaceman photo captures the time's fascination with space and the unknown. It stayed popular even as photo editing has become common, keeping its place in the mysterious, and unexplained. Sarah Spellman, from the Association for the Scientific Study of Anomalous Phenomena, notes that while folks used to focus a lot on aliens, now there's more interest in ghosts. So, the Solway Spaceman remains a piece of history, a snapshot from when people were really into exploring and imagining the unknown, keeping its mystery alive, and kicking in our quest for the truth. 7. Ectoplasm Seances Ectoplasm might make you think of ghostly slime from Ghostbusters, but it has different meanings. For the science-minded, it's known as the outer part of the goo inside amoebas, something you might remember from biology class. But for those into the supernatural and who love a good ghost story, ectoplasm is seen as a ghostly substance that mediums use to connect with the spirit world. Back in the old days of seances, around the 19th and early 20th centuries, ectoplasm was a big deal. These events were more than just meetups. They were performances where the boundary between the living and the dead seemed to disappear. Mediums would show off ectoplasm, which could look like ghostly goo or a thin fabric, claiming it was proof of spirits. Sometimes they even shaped it into faces of the dead to show they were really in touch with the other side. However, many of these spooky shows were just tricks. Famous mediums often got caught using simple magic tricks, like making ghostly figures from newspapers or hiding cloth to pull out as ectoplasm. In the low light of seance rooms, where they said light would scare away the spirits, these tricks easily fooled people. With the rise of photography, pictures from these seances were eaten up as real evidence of ghosts. To people who didn't know better, every strange mark or setup in a photo seemed like a visit from the other world. So talking about ectoplasm can be a fun way to see who's who in a crowd, mixing a bit of history, science, and mystery. It takes us back to a time when people were really into exploring the line between what's real and what's beyond our understanding, showing how much we all love a good mystery. Six, the babushka lady, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy is a major event filled with panic and mystery. In the confusion that followed, everyone was looking for answers, digging through photos and witness accounts. One person caught on camera, known as the Babushka Lady because of her headscarf, stood out. She was seen filming everything, but somehow slipped away without a trace, even avoiding the FBI's search. Years later, a woman named Beverly Oliver popped up claiming she was the babushka lady. She told a wild story at a Texas church in 1970 about filming the assassination with a special camera and then having her film taken by guys who said they were from the FBI. She said she stayed quiet because she was scared of getting in trouble for having marijuana. Oliver's story got more tangled as she claimed to know famous figures like Jack Ruby, who killed Lee Harvey Oswald and Oswald himself. But her story had holes like mentioning a camera type that didn't even exist at the time of Kennedy's death, and she didn't really look like the babushka lady in the photos. Despite questions about her tale, 
Oliver stuck to her claim, suggesting she had a rare camera model. Her mysterious and bold claims made her a central figure in the swirling conspiracy theories about the assassination, with guesses about her being a spy, a secret agent, or having a camera that was more than it seemed. The babushka lady became a big part of the Kennedy assassination mystery, with people still trying to figure out who she was, what was on her film, and what part she played in the whole story. Thanks to Oliver's claims, the babushka lady remains an unsolved mystery in one of the most analyzed events in American history. But it's strange, isn't it? That after so many years, this lady remains a mystery, even with all the scrutiny from top investigators. Who could she really be? What do you think about this entire mystery? 5. Hook Island Sea Monster In Queensland, Australia, there's a story about the Hook Island Sea Monster that's been sparking curiosity since 1965. This creature, said to be huge like a giant tadpole and around 30 feet long, has pale eyes and a notable injury on its tail, living in a world of mystery. The story kicked off when Robert Lasserek, his family, and friend Henk de Jong ran into this creature after their shipwreck near the Great Barrier Reef. Lasserek's wife first saw the massive, shadowy shape in the water at Stonehaven Bay, thrusting them into a famous mystery tale. Their photos from December 1964 show a big black creature with what seems to be two white eyes, making the old sea monster stories seem real. But, as it often goes with such tales, there's a lot of doubt. Some think these photos were just tricks or misunderstandings of regular underwater stuff. This sea monster, seeming harmless, lacked any fins or teeth, just showing a smooth, dark body with brown stripes ending in a thin tail. This odd description just makes the mystery even thicker, leaving us with more questions than answers. The Hook Island sea monster story isn't just about sightings. It's been in the news, TV, documentaries, and even art, turning into a kind of modern legend. It's been a hot topic, with people in places like Scientific American debating if the photos and the monster are real. Some think the photos might have been staged, using a model or maybe a dead sea creature like a basking shark, but nothing's sure. Critics use the inconsistencies and lack of more evidence to argue against the monster's existence. Still, the legend lives on, with some saying the huge, mostly unexplored ocean could hide such creatures. The Hook Island sea monster stands with other legendary cryptids like the Loch Ness Monster and the Kraken, a being of both the sea and our imaginations, with its true story as hidden as the deepest parts of the ocean. 4. The Face of Mars On July 25, 1976, the Viking 1 spacecraft, while checking out Mars, took a photo that really got people talking. This photo showed a part of Mars called Cydonia, where there was something that looked a lot like a human face. This face on Mars made folks all over the world get excited, thinking maybe there was life on Mars. NASA said it was just the way the light and shadows played tricks on our eyes, a thing called pareidolia, where we see familiar stuff in random places. But this didn't stop people from thinking maybe NASA was hiding something big. This Martian face quickly became a hit in shows like The X-Files, cartoons like Futurama, and games like Final Fantasy IMV and XCOM. Even Martian Manhunter comics mentioned this mysterious face, adding to the wild theories about an old Martian society. For years, this mystery of the face on Mars stayed hot. But in April 1998, the Mars Global Surveyor spacecraft took new photos that showed this face was just a normal hill, shaped by natural stuff like wind and erosion, not by aliens. Jim Garvin, a Mars expert, said this hill was like natural formations we have on Earth. More missions like the Mars Global Surveyor in 2001 and the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter in 2007, plus the European Space Agency's Mars Express, all confirmed it was just a natural hill, not an alien-built monument. Still, some people keep believing it's a sign of ancient Martian life. This shows how much we love a good mystery and want to find special meaning in space stuff. Even though science has shown the face on Mars is just a hill, its story reminds us how much we're drawn to the unknown. 
Our curiosity about life on Mars, whether in the past or future, keeps us exploring and wanting to learn more about the universe we live in. If I mean if K think true it. 3. The Miyaka Skunk Ape In Sarasota County, Florida, around February 2001, people were buzzing about sightings of an ape-like creature near the Miyaka River. It all started when a woman noticed something taking apples from her porch. She thought it might be an orangutan, described it as a big creature, about 6.5 to 7 feet tall, with a strange smell and making deep whoomp sounds. After some apple-stealing incidents, the creature disappeared, maybe scared off by a dog the woman got for protection. The story got interesting when Lauren Coleman, a well-known figure in studying mysterious animals, looked at the photos. He thought it looked a bit like an orangutan, but couldn't say for sure. A biologist named Tony Scheuhammer also checked it out, saying it had features like other large primates, which got people talking even more. But not everyone bought the story. Bobby Short, who was skeptical about such creatures, thought the photos were probably of a person in a costume, not a real unknown animal. She mentioned that Florida doesn't have a history of ape fossils that would support such a find. She also noted differences in how the creature stood compared to known apes calling it the skunk ape. Then, Mitsuko Choden from Japan, who knows a lot about primates, said it was likely just someone in a costume because it didn't have the right body features for an ape. Despite the doubts, the tale of the skunk ape kept going strong, especially in Miyaka. The Sarasota Herald Tribune talked about how the area has had stories of the skunk ape since the 1960s, keeping the mystery alive over the years. So, the Mayaka skunk ape remains a big part of local legend, keeping the curiosity and tales going in Florida's folklore. 2. The Falcon Lake Incident In 1967, the Mikulak family went through something really strange that stuck with them forever. Stan Mikulak saw his dad, Stefan, come home looking really sick and confused after a crazy UFO sighting at Falcon Lake, Manitoba. Stefan was all messed up, smelling like sulfur and burnt stuff, which just added to the weirdness. Stefan, who liked to tinker with machines and look for rocks, bumped into something wild out there. Two UFOs, with one landing nearby. This threw the whole Mikulak family into a whirlwind of confusion and attention. Stan shared this bizarre story in a book written with UFO expert Chris Rutkowski 50 years after it happened. Stefan had gotten close to what he thought was some secret military craft, but instead he got hit by some strange force that burned his clothes and skin, a story that's become legendary in UFO circles. After this, their house was swarmed by police, the Air Force, reporters, and curious people, making their private shock into a big deal for everyone else. Even with all the stress and Stefan's health getting worse, he stuck to his story of meeting a weird advanced craft, not aliens, but something definitely not from around here. The Falcon Lake event is known as one of Canada's best documented UFO cases, with real evidence like Stefan's burned clothes and weirdly radioactive dirt where it all happened, beating even Roswell for having solid proof. Stefan dealt with what happened to him pretty bravely, and tests showed he was telling the truth. His son, Stan, has had to figure out what he believes, walking the line between doubt and acceptance. The Falcon Lake UFO thing remains a big deal in the world of UFO stories, mixing fear, curiosity, and the hunt for truth, showing our constant drive to make sense of the mysterious stuff out there in the world. It might seem wild or hard to believe when someone says they've met a UFO or alien, right? But looking closely at Stefan's experience, it seems more believable than many other stories, yet we're still searching for where the truth really is. 1. The Chilling Story of the SS Urang Medan The SS Urang Medan story, set around the 1940s near Indonesia, is like a ghost tale of the sea, full of mystery and dark twists. The ship became infamous with stories of its crew dying under strange circumstances leading up to the ship's sudden explosion. Amid the rumors, a survivor named Jerry Rabbit popped up, claiming he was a castaway who later told his story on the Marshall Islands. He gave more details about the Orang Medan, describing it as a ship caught in danger and mystery. People have guessed all sorts of reasons for the tragedy, from pirate attacks to carrying dangerous chemicals, and some even think there's something supernatural about it. But finding real proof that the Orang Medan 
even existed is as hard as catching a ghost. The most shared version of the story involves the ship sending out an SOS call while sailing the Strait of Malacca, picked up by a ship called the Silver Star. The rescue team reportedly found the whole crew dead with terrified looks, but no clear cause of death. Jerry Rabbit's tale, although short-lived, suggested the ship might have been carrying deadly chemicals like sulfuric acid and potassium cyanide, pointing to a toxic disaster as the cause of death. But Rabbit's own life ended shortly after he was rescued, adding more mystery to the story. No one's found real records of the Urang Medan in ship registries, and its wreck is still missing. Despite the eerie accounts and hints of dangerous cargo, the ship's story remains a murky legend. Different versions of the story and a lack of hard facts have made the Urang Medan a legendary ghost ship in maritime tales. First noted in British and then American media, the story's gaps and changing details have only made people more curious and skeptical. The SS Urang Medan is a classic sea legend, blurring the lines between truth and tale, showing our love for the mysterious and the deep, hidden secrets of the ocean. We've just wrapped up our journey into the world of mysterious photos, the kind that have left people around the world seriously spooked and puzzled. I'm really keen to know what you think about these strange pictures. Jump into the comments and let's start a conversation about these images that keep us all guessing and a bit on edge.